Hey yo everyone, welcome back to another Terraria video today. Our goal, our mission for today's video is to drown and flood my whole entire Terraria world with water. As you can see, we can't even see the whole world. So how about we do this real quick? We're gonna type in map, okay? We're gonna type in map and we're gonna look for an item that reveals the whole map. Cause I know there's an item, here we go. The ancient master's map of the lost king's great ancestors from Fargo's mod reveals the whole map. Boom, did it work? I'm assuming it worked. Boom, oh my God, look at that. We can literally see everything such a beautiful world i don't even know what half of these things are or what mods half of them are from but that's so beautiful now let's go ahead and attempt our hardest and our best give our best effort because what we're about to do is very dangerous now there is easier ways to do this but you know i wanted to see multiple other ways that you could possibly do this and we're gonna do the first way that came to mind and that was using the solutions mod which adds in a water filling solution used by the contaminator fills empty space with the water but yeah we're gonna use that combined with some of the accessories the mod also adds in double spray radius double spray distance make spray lightless and quadruples spray distance now we're gonna use all these combined with the contaminator and we're gonna hope that the world just doesn't crash because i tried to do this once for a challenge video and uh you know uh the, the, the world crashed so uh let's let's see what happens you know this is gonna be our first attempt here and let's just hope that it isn't too bad now let, let's start with this okay let's just spray straight up just to get like a nice you know test of how much water this actually is it's it's a good bit it's gone oh my god it went all the way up there and it's still flowing downwards so we're in a small world right now and we have a good bit of mods installed too so hopefully having those mods installed doesn't do anything either but you know at the same time having those mods installed you know there's a little bit more water thanks to the abyss from calamity right here you know it adds in a lot more water and thanks to the aquatic depths from thorium there's a bit more water over here and also some more water right here from calamity too so you know there's a little bit of water already all over the area now this seems like a lot of water but that was just literally like one second of spraying upwards what happens if i were to you know just just spray to the right L let's see let's see i'm the game is probably gonna crash uh oh r.i.p <laughs> yeah the game is probably gonna crash but let's do it oh what was that what the fuck whoa whoa what's going on it's weird things are getting weird now things are getting weird now all right a little bit more a little bit more oh you see that like blue flash that pops up on the screen the water is frozen is it just gonna drop i have a feeling that all this water is just gonna drop look at that i knew it would see the question is does the map really look like that it's kind of weird looking but yeah i guess it's time to go all out you know because you know, we're slowly flooding the world but uh i think it's time is that a pyramid what the hell i think it's time to flood you know just do a nice 360 with our contaminator and just see what happens All right, that was more than 360. But uh, let's give it a second. Oh, all the water vanished. What does that mean? Is the water everywhere now? I don't feel like the level of the water got higher. All right, let's put this to the test. If I were to randomly, you know, just teleport somewhere, would I end up in some water? No. What the heck? This is kind of upsetting. All right, let's try it again. No. No. We still haven't ended up in water. Oh kind of kind of all right i set up a little system here to tell where the water level is at it's right under the red so let's go ahead let's do this again and see if the water level changes at all because i don't know it hasn't felt like the water has been changing much because it does this thing where the water just kind of sits still and then it just vanishes so let's see if it's actually working because uh I, honestly i really can't tell at this point like what's, what's going on here is this working it's just like slowly falling as you can see on the map oh it froze it froze there's a little air pocket right here oh and then it's gone but the, look at this what the hell it's higher on one side but lower on the other okay so i've sprayed water a bunch of times and it just seems like the water just kind of vanishes after a while i don't know if there's like a limit to the water in terms of like you know you spray it and then just let it load and if it'll stay like that or i don't know maybe that's what's happening you know how like if you have too many items on the screen they start to despawn and get replaced by other items i'm thinking something like that is going on but with the water i don't know maybe i should do do like little little tiny tests right here little little baby taps and see if it goes up so it seems like like this might be working i really can't tell because the water is still settling but there has to be a better way to do this right all right we are on a fresh new world where we're gonna test out our next method to flood the world but i noticed something there's literally another pyramid right here what's up with pyramid spawning in worlds where i just mess around in and never in any of my playthrough worlds like come on come on bro but yeah we're gonna test out our next tool here and that next tool is the cheat sheet paint tool now this tool we messed around with recently and it's pretty good and we're gonna put it to the test here see if we can you know grab 
grab a bunch of water like this and then just you know pretty much copy and paste it everywhere oh man it's kind of laggy you see this? this is giving me 10 frames per second right now oh that shit's laggy bro oh my god okay let's see if it works let's see if the water level goes over and starts flooding into over here or will it just disappear because that's that just seems to be the theme or the common thing that happens is the water just kind of disappears if there's too much of it but it's looking like this is good now take note that i only clicked once with the uh, paint tool and i only copy and pasted one thing of this ocean so uh you know it should be fine it's actually it's working pretty well it's working pretty well but what happens oh god the frame rate what happens if i go overboard with it you know place oh this is really framey <laughs> what happens if i place you know like double triple it's still working pretty well the water is flowing which is what we want to see as long as the water is flowing then we should be good i hope i don't know though oh what the heck there's trees breaking from the water that's how strong this water is getting you know it seems like this is working but it still doesn't seem like the best way to really flood the world you know what i'm saying what if i just place a bunch what happens if i just spam click like will that just boom instantly flood the world or what oh the water's frozen oh and it's gone just like that it's actually not gone it's flooding a good amount of the world surprisingly so yeah i have no idea how water works in terraria it seems really weird look how much this flooded though what the hell this is kind of good oh okay so it stopped around here is there water down here that's the real question if water made it down here i mean there's water down here that might just be water from something else but that got pretty far so uh let me do one last experiment with the paint tool and uh this will really determine if it can flood the whole world or not i'm gonna sit up here in space and i'm gonna just spam it i'm gonna spam it a couple times and then we're just gonna come back and see if the whole world is flooded all right so i sat here for a couple minutes a good couple minutes trying to just flood the world over and over again and it seems like we might be good i don't know i don't know how to update the map can i do you think if i use another map item it'll update the whole entire map i have no idea let's see did i update it oh it did update it look at that so not too shabby man look at this from left to right you can see a good majority of the areas are flooded obviously not the whole entire world is going to be flooded in terms of like every crack and crevice because if there's not an entrance the water can't really get into it so i would have to go to every area and kind of just click and fill it all in which would take forever so let's just see here you know it even reaches some of these planet toys i don't know why this planet toys cut in half but uh yeah it reached some of the planet toys there it got into the ice caverns here and it did pretty good on that nice it got over here to the pits of this corruption too didn't get into the dungeon that's one strong door that door right there is holding so much force that if i opened that door my game would probably crash but yeah it didn't really reach over here to the uh sulfur seas but let me tell you where i stood so i stood right here and did a bunch of water right here i stood right here at spawn and did a bunch of water and then you saw me do water at the beginning somewhere over here is where i was standing and uh you know it's not too bad it did take a couple of minutes though i would say like five ten minutes it took me doing that and just sitting there and waiting but you know it's not too bad of a way to flood your world where the hell is the top half of this planet toy <laughs> but you know i feel like there's an easier way and we can do better all right so here we are in a little something called t edit also known as terraria edit i actually don't know if it's known as terraria edit but yeah we're here in t edit as you can see i have a fresh world generated here and this is the world we're gonna be flooding with water hopefully gonna be flooding with water so uh we're gonna see how this works i've never used this before so hopefully it's not too hard to use all right so i clicked on the fill option here and i'm assuming we go to liquid and then we we could do water lava honey water and now what what do i do this paint paint mode i paint it now brush yes and this is all water right i'm assuming this is all water what can we do shape okay we can do shapes can we, with oh okay this is what i want what about outline what does outline do i don't know we'll keep that at one so what i just i just brush it i'm assuming that this is literally all i do i just brush the water all over until the whole entire place is filled that's what i'm assuming and then we hop into the world and then that's it right that's what i'm assuming all right let's go ahead let's fill up this whole thing All right, here's the truth we're loading up the world now we're gonna see oh man settling liquids is taking a bit so that has to mean it's working right okay here we go oh my i think it worked i think we have a fully 
flooded world but the only way to really test is you know check out the map but yeah do that with the map oh my god look it's literally just water everywhere actually there might be a couple of cracks and crevices not filled but other than that you know there might just be water everywhere i can't even see that that's how much water there is there is it's completely just darkened and black you can't see anything but the guide he's slowly drowning i'm sorry seth i'll try and save you He's, he's gone oh look there he is he's, <laughs> jesus all right so the one way we're gonna test and see if there's water everywhere is just by hitting random and seeing if that works yeah the water yep water you know what i should do i should zoom out on the map get a little better perspective yeah there's water here water at the dungeon water in this random granite cave snow biome water i i don't know where this is this is water though Hopefully you guys can see, I, I, I can really see if I'm being honest, but yeah, there's water, of course, in the aquatic depths, water in the desert. Now let's check out hell. I mean, that's it's pretty filled. Ooh, look, there is a little spot empty right here. And I'm thinking why there's an empty spot right here is because of all the water replacing the lava. It just had troubles filling in everything. That or I did a really bad fill job. Either one could be valid reasons why. But yeah, this seems like... Where the hell am I? Where? Oh, I'm over there. Uh, this seems like definitely the fastest way to fill up the whole entire area it's with Terraria Edit or T-Edit. And T-Edit is a thing I've never touched before. It's really cool though. It's pretty much like Minecraft Edit where you kind of just, you know, you take the world and then you can add in and do everything you want. It's really cool and I like it a lot. Might do some future things with it because it seems like a really fun thing to mess around with. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys. Make sure to hit that, that subscribe button because remember, 80% of the people that watch me are not subscribed. I know it's crazy, right? All right, I'll see you next time.